Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hello everyone, this is Madeline, teacher here again today, and I am recording the lesson for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for class Wednesday, and we are doing writing. So we need our grammar still two books, and we will be finishing pages 74 through 79. Okay, so let's take out our books. Grammar Zone 2, okay? And we will be doing pages 74 all the way through 79. Okay? So, everyone, let's open our books to page 74, lesson 25, to begin. So, lesson 25. For this lesson, we are going to be remembering simple present tense. We are going to be talking about the verb to like in simple present. Um, so, when we have some to like in present tense, we want to use present tense. When we have present tense, we have different people. We say, I like. Um, you like. We like. He Likes. Um, she likes it. Likes and they like. We have to remember, um, these ones are all yes, it is true, I like, to me it is good, me, for talking about me, it is good, I like. We have to remember, for simple present, he, she, and it, we don't say like, we say like s, okay? So, he, she, it, we change, we say like s instead of like. Okay? If something is not true, I, I do not think it is good. I think it is bad. I say, I don't like. You don't think it is good. You say, you don't like. We don't think it is good. We don't like. And then he doesn't think it is good. Again, with he, we have S. So we doesn't like. And she, it is the same. She doesn't like. It doesn't like. And they don't like. So again, he, she, it is special. He, she, it changes to S. Remember, when we have two verbs, only the first one changes. Number one. Number two is the same. Number one changes. So we don't say don't like s. We say doesn't like. And the same is for questions. When we have questions, we can say do I like? Or, do you like? Or, do we like? But for he, she, it, the first one needs to change. So we say, does he like? Does the teacher like? Does the student like? So does he like? Um, for she, does she like it? Does it like? When we have, when we are talking about one, um, he, she, it, we change the first one to does. Like, 
do plus s. And last one, they, do they like. Okay. Um, so, we can also use this verb with wh questions. If we want a wh question, we have to put the wh word first. So we can say, what do you like? Or, when does he like to play? What time does he like to play? We put the wh question word first, and then we have the same normal question after. So wh question word is first, and then we have the do or does question. Okay. Um, today, we are going to talk about um, one more thing. Oh, let's also talk about answers. So for all of these, when we answer, we can say yes, mm, do, or no, mm, don't. This one too, we can say this. But for he, she, it, we have to say something different. We can say yes, mm, does, he does, or no, mm, doesn't. Okay, so understanding so far? This is the same if we have different types of words too. So we are talking about to like, but we have other words that talk about our feeling. We have, let's draw a line. When we think very, mm -hmm. let's draw a line here. Okay. So when we think it is very good or we think it is very bad, if we like it here, we think it is good. If we love it, we think it is very good. If we hate it, we think it is very bad. And if we don't like, we think it is a little bad. And then in the middle, we think it is so, so. Um, so all of these words we can use in the same way. We can say, I like chocolate. I love chocolate. Does he like chocolate? Does he hate chocolate? Do you um like cake? He doesn't like cake. Or does he like cake? Um does he like cake? Does he hate cake? We can use these words all in the same way with does do and s. She loves spaghetti. We just put s on the end. Okay? So let's look at the book on page, actually before we do, we have to talk about one more thing. Okay, so we have one more kind of question we want to talk about. If we want to know the number of something, Where's the good marker? Okay. So if we want to know the number of something, we have to ask how many. So if I want to know the number of oranges, I can say how many oranges. So you say how many, and then we say the thing. And then we say the other question. So how many oranges do you have? Or, um, let's go over here. How many students versus how many? And then how many students are in class? How many students 
are in class. So for these ones, we have to answer a number. How many oranges do you have? I can say five oranges. I have five oranges. How many students are in class? Um, six students. There are six students in class. Okay, so now students, let's um, please take notes on these right in your book and then stop the video, write this down, and then come back and we will do this together. Okay, so finish. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I want you, we're going to do this page and this part together. Okay, so let's do number one. First one, do you like salad? The answer is, yes, I do. When we have I, we don't use the FS. So we say do, not does. Next one, mm, she like no. For she, we have to say does. She, he, it, we have s. I will write down. He, she, it, plus s. One of most important things in English. He, she, it, remember, plus s, okay? So, next one, does she like milk? No, she doesn't. But she does like orange juice. Number three, you do you like pizza? Yes, I do, but I don't like spaghetti. Here, I is not he, she, it, so no s. Okay, so part two. Here, we need to finish the questions with a good question words. The first one, what do you like to eat soup? I like soup. The next one, mm, do you like to eat popcorn? At the movie theater. At the movie theater is a place. So for place question words, we say where. The next one, do you like to drink hot chocolate? When the weather is cold. When the weather is cold is a time. For time questions, we say when. Let's think a little bit. When. Okay, number four. Do you like to drink? I like milk. Milk is a thing, so to start, we will say what. What do you like to drink? Four things. Number five. Do you like to eat pizza? I like to eat it on Saturday. Saturday is a time, so we say... When do you like to eat pizza? And the last one, number six. Do you like to eat ice cream at the beach? At the beach is the place. So we have to answer what word for place? Where? Okay, good. So finish checking your answers. I will erase this. Okay, let's go to the next page. So this one, we have to look at the picture in the book to answer how many. So the first one, how many people like fries? 15 people. Number two, we have six people. So we look at this. Mm, what one is six people? Soup. So soup, six people like soup. So the question can be, how many people like soup. Number three, we have the question, how many people like hot dogs? So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people like hot dogs. Okay, so I want you to finish the rest of this page and all of this page and part two on this page, all by yourself, okay? So finish, page, finish, page.
page 75, 76, and 77, part 2. Okay? So finish. Stop the video. Finish these pages. Okay? And then come back together and we will check. Okay? So stop the video here. Okay? Okay. Okay. Did you finish? Okay. So, did you finish everything? How was it? Was it easy or difficult? So, let's look at number four on page 75. Number four. We have the answer, 13 people. So, the question will be, how many people like size? Number five. We have how many people like spaghetti? Eight people. Number six. Or er, 11 people. So we can think how many people Oh, this is actually how many people like pizza. Sorry. And this one is how many people like burgers. All right, the next part we have, we have to write the answers of the question. So the first one, how many clowns can you see? I can read 10 clowns. This one, how many, he can read one book. The question is, how many books can he read? The next one, number three, how many trees can they climb? So you have to start this with they can climb mm, trees. But you can pick any number. So I will say 27. They can climb 27 trees. Next one. How, we can eat three hot dogs. So we can say how many hot dogs can we eat? And the last one. How many potatoes can she use? We can say she can use Mm, potatoes. I will say three potatoes. She can use three potatoes. Okay, finish? Let's go to the next page. Check your answers. Okay, so if we didn't finish, I want you to finish this page and this Part before we check. So please finish, 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 finish before we check, okay? So let's see, page 76, we have Amy and Brian. We have to choose what flavors Amy and Brian like, love, don't like, hate, and hate, okay? And pistachio. Pistachio is a green nut. So first one, Amy likes chocolate. Remember, Amy and Brian are both, are she and he, so both need S. So Amy likes chocolate, Brian loves chocolate. Amy doesn't, with S, like vanilla, and Brian hates, with S, vanilla. Amy loves strawberry, and Brian doesn't like strawberry. And Amy hates pistachio, and Brian likes pistachio. I like pistachio too. I think it is a good flavor. Okay, so finish. Let's look at the next page. We have Gary doesn't like bananas. Number two, we look at the picture. Megan. You can say two things, hates salad or doesn't 
like salad. Both are okay. Hate salad or doesn't like salad. Next one, but we need S. S. Hates, doesn't, doesn't. Okay? Next one. Alice, we have two choices. Likes or loves. Both okay, but we need S. Likes or loves. Chocolate ice cream. In the last one, number four, John likes sandwiches. Okay, so finish. Okay, finish checking your erasers before I erase. Okay? Okay, so let's see. We have to talk about this part. So for this part, we need or, but, or, and. So if you remember, we have and when we have two the same, and but with two different. We use or if we have a choice, we can pick blue. Or red. We can't have blue and red together. We have only one. Blue or red. So choice. Only one we can choose. Or we use it um, with the same in a no sentence. Okay? So let's go for through this. So number one, I don't like vanilla ice cream, but I like sugar. Number two. What do you want? An apple or an orange? So we can't have apple and orange. We can have apple or orange. One. So we say or, not and. Okay? Next one. Three. She likes nuts on her ice cream. We can say but. She loves cherries. Love and like are different, so we say but. Number four, which do you like more, vanilla or strawberry? You can't like vanilla and strawberry more, so choice, vanilla or strawberry. The next one, Andy likes chocolate, mm, he doesn't like vanilla. We say but, like and doesn't like are different. Number six, what color do you like, red? or yellow. Number seven, they don't like cats and dogs. So this one, we have um, two things that are saying. Don't like cats, don't like dogs, but it is a no sentence. Don't like. So we say or. They don't like cats and or dogs. Number eight, we want a burger this one, I think, two choices. We want a burger or a pizza, or we can say we want a burger and a pizza. A burger we want and a pizza, or a burger, only one, or pizza, only one, not burger and. So this one, it can be your choice. Number nine, I hate cheese, but I love salad. Hate and but are different. And number 10, he doesn't want nuts or granola. So doesn't want nuts, doesn't want granola, same, but it is a no sentence. Doesn't want. If we have same, he wants nuts and granola. We have and, okay? So finished. So please fix your answers and then I will erase and we will do the next page, okay? Okay, so now we are going to be doing lesson 27. 27, we have comparatives. So comparatives, 
This is page 78 through 79. Compare it. We use if we are talking about two things. We don't use if we are talking about one thing, and we don't use if we are talking about three things. Only two things. Two things only we use comparatives, okay? We want to say, what is different? We have two things, we want to say, what is different? We have two markers, what is different? Um, this marker is red and this marker is blue. Let's think of a better one. Two erasers. Two erasers. We can look at the erasers, what is different? This eraser, if you can see, is smaller. This one is bigger, this one is smaller. So we use to talk about what is different, okay? So I will draw a picture. So we have two buildings, building one and building two. So we can say, building one, is bigger than, oh no, I'm sorry, building two is bigger than building one. Or, one is shorter than building Okay? So, when we use these comparatives, we have to remember E, R, than. E, R, than. So, first rule, when we have short words, big, short, we add plus E, R, and then we use than. So, building one is bigger than. It is more big. Building one or building two is more big. Building one is shorter. It is more short. E-R, bam. For this, we have some spelling rules. Y becomes Y-X plus I-E-R. E-R, word, word endings, just becomes plus R. Um, if we have consonant, vowel, consonant, we do consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant. So the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and the consonants are other letters. So this is like bigger, B, e, vowel, I, G, other letters, so two Bs, okay? Um, and then the other, so these spelling changes we have to remember, okay? Everything else is the same spelling. We also have but this is what we do if we have short words. So we have to do something different if we have long words. Okay? So if we say this building is three dollars and this building is one dollar. We can say building one, this one is expensive, this is not expensive. So we can say, building one is more expensive than building two. So when we have long words, we say more than. So for long words, we say more so we can say examples. More beautiful. Um, more interesting. What about funny? We can say here, funnier. Or, um, What about mm, smart, smarter? We can 
can say things like this for short words. For long words, we have to say more, okay? More than. For short words, we just add ER. Okay, so please write this down in your notebook. Take your notes, stop the video, and I will erase this, okay? Now, let's do page 78 together, okay? So, number one, the cheese pizza is smaller than the sausage pizza. Number two, a jumbo hot dog is very long. So, what do we say? Is that a regular hot dog? Longer. Longer. Number three. Pistachio ice cream is big, and this vanilla ice cream is little. So we can say the pistachio ice cream is what? Bigger, bigger than the vanilla one. And number four, the chocolate cake is $12, and this one is $15. So chocolate is cheap. So we can say the chocolate cake is cheaper than the strawberry one. Number five, we see mega burger and regular burger. The mega regular burger is small, so we can say a regular burger is smaller than the mega burger. We see 125 regular fries and 225 special fries. They are expensive, so we can say special fries are two words more expensive and regular flies. Okay? So please finish last page today. Finish 79 by yourself. Then stop the video, finish this page, and then we will check. Okay? Okay, did you finish? Let's check. So we have different words we have to do. I will write. Okay, so let's change this. So small becomes a short word, so we just say smaller. Funny is short, but we have a spelling change, so with I-E-R. Thin is short, but we have consonant, vowel consonant, so we do two N's. Dirty, again, spelling change. Y goes away, I-E-R. Cheap is a short word, so we put cheaper. Bigger, again, consonant, vowel, consonant, so we do two genes. Happy becomes I-E-R. Long is a short word, so just E-R. Green, also short, so we say E-R. And short is a short word, E-R. Last one, white. We don't do white, E-R, we just do R. And tall is a short word, taller, angry, with a spelling change, angrier. Okay? So please fix your answers in your book, and then let's do the last part. Okay, so the last part. Alan is thinner than his brother. Number two, Tony's restaurant is mm, and Joey's. We have popular. Popular is a long word, so we can say more popular than Joey's. Number three, mega fries mm, and jumbo fries. We have big, so we can say mega fries are bigger than jumbo fries. Number four, which is mm, chocolate or pistachio? 
we have expensive, which is long, so we can say more expensive. The last one, I think strawberry is nice. More nice, so we can say nice is the short word, nicer. And we don't have two E's, so just put R. Okay, so that is the end of the lesson. I hope you learned something, and I will see you soon. Bye! Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. S-S-E-T, English Town.